the last question, that of uh, masturbation. And this is an issue over which, of course, scholars have differed. Some say it's haram. Some say it's makru. Uh, if you ask me what is your view, personally, uh, personally, I, my view is that it is makru in that the rulings for something to be haram, you know, it needs clear texts. And really in this action, there are not clear texts, there are implications. People are drawing implications. So I would be wary or shy to say haram. However, no doubt it is not a good thing. It doesn't solve whatever problem a person is thinking of solving. It does create problems for people later on when they get married, etc., where that became a habit and they can't get fulfilled in normal husband wife relations. I've picked cases, people came to me and complained about this. You know, this can happen. This is not a good thing. And the Prophet, Sallam, when he gave the options for that, those who are not able to fast, he didn't say, you can masturbate. No. He said, I mean, sorry, those who are not able to get married, he said, fast. That's what he said. So fasting has been given to us as the way of controlling our desires in this regard. So that's what we should do. Take that which the Prophet gave us.